What's going on Cubs fam? We are back for another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video and my friends today we are going to talk about some real legitimate heartaches I have. 10 of them in my roster. 10 characters that I really desperately wish that I had farmed. And my friends, this is a sad story. This is a sad story because these characters just look at me every day. They're mocking me. I wish that I could farm them, but I have to farm for things like Galactic Legends and, and General Skywalker. I have to get gas in this game. I lactose intolerant. I have to get gas in this game. Anyway, my friends, as we talk about this list, some of the characters are going to be gear 12 and some of them I want to have at relics and so i'm going to include some characters that i have i guess farmed so to speak but i just wish i had totally maxed out all right enough foreplay let's get right into the list starting with number one we have got the one and only commander luke skywalker now commander luke is just an outstanding character and i've got him at gear 12 so he's very good a character that i can take a lot of advantage of but he's just not quite doing it for me um, in the late game, I'm able to use him as a as an offensive team for, you know, maybe Newt, and it kind of struggles. But at gear 13, you really see a strong bump in the usefulness of Commander Luke. He can even go after gas teams. I think that's very solid. When you can use him as a counter for something that significant, you get a lot more use out of that character. He stood the test of time. This is one of the best offensive teams in the history of this game. Not to mention, he's a character you're probably going to need at some point for a new version of Luke Skywalker, so he's not somebody to sleep on. Gear 12, probably not cutting it for Commander Luke for me anymore. I just really wish I could get there, and so it just hurts my heart that I don't have Commander Luke at higher gear. All right, let's talk about the next one on the list. We have got the one and only Jango Fett. I really, really like a high gear Jango Fett in this game and if you look at my Django right now only gear 11 and what is going to make Django so useful at gear 13 um, his leadership ability is very solid plus 30 speed to all the bounty hunters which works very well uh, with Bosk especially if you get him fast get that taunt off right away especially got those extra Zetas but something else that people neglect about Django is his damage output and his mastery stat is going to get him critical chance critical damage and uh, and, and offense as well which is just very useful to have for a character like Django Fett that's doing AoE he's got that double tap on his basic really going to take that bounty hunter team to the next level I actually think Django Fett might be the best bounty hunter to take to relics and for that purpose I really wish that I had him there on my list next up we got Geonosian Spy uh Geonos I mean you guys know how good Spy is in this game right it's it's no secret at this point and having him in the relics is really what takes those those bugs from scary to terrifying um even a gear 11 spy which is what i've got right now gear 11 uh can be pretty devastating but when you get those relics on him that's when he's going to be able to take scions out in one shot and do just molly wops of 100 to 200 000 damage i really wish i had my spy up there but again priorities i just i don't know how i'm gonna find time to do it right now all those last gear pieces that i need to put on him Everyone else needs them right now. So anyway, I digress. I, I'm going to say that about every character. All right, let's look at the next one. Number seven, we have got Han Solo. Now, would you guys believe that I do not have a relic Han Solo? Uh, my Han Solo is pretty decently farmless here. I've got him at gear 12. And I do have um, three of the gear pieces, but no of the none of the gear 12 plus... Um, I did manage to get at least some good mods on him. I've got some decent offense on him. But the double tap that Han gets with his Zeta ability, the turn meter strip, and then, of course, you know his mastery stats at the relics are going to be... Let's see, where'd they go? Um, you've got the same set as Django, the chance, the damage, the, uh, the, the critical damage, and then the normal offense. Um, you know, this is one of the heaviest offensive characters in the game in, ter in terms of damage output. And so only having him at gear 12, oh my gosh, I really wish that I could get him to gear 13. Big regrets that he's not there already. And then not to mention, my people, very, very good chance, as we talked about that Galactic Legends Luke possibility, Han Solo probably going to be in that camp. And if he is, absolutely going to need to have him over there in the relics. All right, let's talk about the next one. Number six on the list, we have got the one and only Count Dooku. Count Dooku is super super good when you get him in the relics and my count dooku right now 
He's pretty low. I I've only got him at gear 11, which he's just too squishy at gear 11 to do much. But when you get him up to gear 12, gear 13, he's going to become a lot more of a credible threat. Um, it's going to give him some of that, you know, survivability that he needs. So he's not going to be taken out in two hits. But then his damage output's going to be very solid. He hits underneath that protection. He can stun. And so if he stays in the battle longer, he can really disrupt things so much more. Pair him with Newt, and you've got one of the best defensive teams in the game, arguably. Um, well, I mean, probably those meta teams are going to be the best defensive teams, so to speak. But people are so used to fighting them. People are less used to fighting a Newt team with a solid Django. And so I would argue that a Newt team with Django, or with Django, uh, a Newt team with um, Dooku may actually be better. And Django does go into that team. So that's probably why I'm uh, mind farting that. Sorry, guys. I'm still I'm still kind of sick making videos uh, trying to trying to keep my head in the game. All right. Let's get into the next one on the list. We have got number five, Candorous Ordo. Now, I have talked a lot about Candorous Ordo um, in my videos. And Candorous is out of every character on this list, maybe the one... This is probably the most luxury character that i've got here let's pull him up i'll show you where mine is at candorous um only gear eight basically where he was uh when i farmed him for darth revan and candorous ordo is relatively useless until you get him at least to gear 12 he's just not gonna be that big of a threat but especially when you get him to gear 13 if you can find a way to uh sacrifice the resources to get him there i just there's so many characters that are gonna be there but you know before for me so i don't know if i'm ever going to get to this sadly ah, sadly but his damage output is just it, just bananas he's got damage on his um on his mastery stats but also the defensive penetration might be the more significant one which is why we're seeing him basic which he can triple tap on his basic for 20 30 40 thousand damage on each hit candorous ordo is amazing at relics and definitely a character that I just really, really, really wish that I could add to my collection. All right, next up is Arc Trooper. Now, would you guys believe that I do not have Arc Trooper ready yet? I'll show you right now. Arc Trooper in my game. He is only, I mean, I've got him at gear 11, but I just abandoned the shard farm. Shame on me, right? Now, I, I want to get back in this, but a big reason why I did abandon that shard farm is simply because I wanted to get ahead on the relics. And the relics are very, very demanding in this game. You've got to keep up on those. And I hate that this game makes you choose between farming character shards and cantina and farming relic materials. I think that's actually an issue that I really hope the game eventually addresses. Because if it weren't for that issue, I would have Arc Trooper farmed by now. But I just weighed out the pros and cons and I just felt like I needed to blitz relics more at the point now you could probably say i should go half and half until i get him there May that's probably what i should have done and that's why it's a regret because i didn't do it um but i also love having the relics that i have right now so tough decision making there but arc trooper he's going to be essential for commander or for a uh, general skywalker team and uh, you could make an argument that you may be able to use uh, ahsoka tano in his place and uh that would probably work but the team that seems to be just better functioning is arc trooper with that turret um, all that damage and just having that extra clone in there makes a big difference. And so Arc Trooper, very sad, very, very sad that I don't have him there yet. He'll, he'll work with Commander, with Command. I keep trying to say Commander Luke. He'll work with General Skywalker for now, but just not nearly as good as he will once I get him to gear 13 um, and at least gear 12. All right, moving on on the list, we have got number three here, Vandor Chewbacca. Vandor Chewbacca is a character that I have just not been able to farm the shards for. And he's such a great defensive character. Let's pull him up here. I've got him at gear uh, 11, just like my ARC Trooper. Uh, farmed him as far as I possibly could. And then the shard farm, I just there's just so many other priorities in this game. I mean, where am I going to find the time to put the energy into farming these shards? He's got a single hard node. Uh, but the, the benefit of having him very tanky, Vandor Chewbacca can be an extremely tanky character. If you mod him right, and you get him in the right team, very hard to take down. And then, of course, you've got that Zeta ability, which is going to revive scoundrel light side allies um, when they're defeated if, if Chewbacca is prepared. Just, it's just super good 
to have him. Now, I'm still getting used out of him, I would say, but more of a, of a back wall kind of thing. But as I progress, the more and more gear 11 team or uh, gear 11 characters I'm placing on defense in Grand Arena, the less beneficial it becomes as, um, you know, more and more gear 13 characters are around. And so, Banner Chewbacca, ah, oh, man, buddy, I. I wish I could farm you, man. I just don't know when I'm going to find the time. All right, let's get to the last two here. We have got number two, Range Trooper. You know I've got Range Trooper on this list, my friends. Oh, my gosh. I would do anything to just have a Range Trooper magically show up in my inventory right now. And he's just, I, I've got it. I don't have his shards farmed. I, I have him at, like, gear one right now just because he's one of those characters that if you miss the boat on farming him when he first came out, it's very hard to justify the farm now because troopers are so secondary in a lot of ways. Uh, there's just a lot of teams that can do what troopers do, but I just want the troopers. I want them. And so range trooper, I think he's always going to be on lists like this for me because it just makes me so sad that I don't have my range trooper there. I just, ah, look at this guy. He's just such a great character. All right, let's get to number one on the list. We have got Nest. Now, my Nest is geared in the game. Don't get me wrong. But Nest is completely different when she has the relics, my friends. Here's my Nest right now. Gear 12, so she I'm still getting use out of Nest. But when you can get Nest with those mastery stats, critical chance, critical damage, and then regular damage, she gets so threatening and at gear 13 especially she can get so much more tanky her health just ramps way up and so that health still is so much more effective and if you get solid tenacity on her which of course you're gonna want to have tenacity on your nest i've got that tenacity cross on her right now which is very very good to have she's just gonna be super threatening i this is a character why i've got her number one on this list is because i've had her in my favorites for a while i took her off recently and I was farming it. I wanted to go there. I wanted to get her into the relics. And when the Galactic Legends hit, I just had to accept that I just, I, there were other priorities I had to go for. And it just makes me sad. So hopefully I'll find time for her at some point. But for now, I'm going to have to shelf you, baby. I'm going to have to shelf you. It's very, very sad. All right, my friends, what do you guys think about my list? Let me know what your biggest regrets are on characters that you desperately wish that you had farmed in this game. I'm anxious to hear uh, which characters uh, do I have that you think are just a crime to uh, humanity that I don't have these guys yet. Let me know down in the comments below. Thanks again for joining me for this video, my friends. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, go ahead and leave it a like. You know what to do. And as always, my brothers, don't forget 